Hello everybody, there's some over here again and today I'm so excited but I, because I finally, finally <laughs> has been able to open and review this, this new Madame Glam's Builder Gel Yes, I said it, it's Builder Gel in a bottle Yay! I was so excited when I saw this on their Instagram account and I they put out a, a little teaser or what, can you guess what next, what's coming up next and I was like hmm build a gel Ooh, yeah, yeah and I was so lucky that I got to order them before they were sold out and um, it takes about two weeks for me to get it and when I got it the day I got it I went on a week's holiday <laughs> so I was so gutted but I am back from my holiday this is my Madame Glam's holiday nails the gold one on my ring finger is my jewels and the metallic one is play date I guess play date or play time not sure <laughs> but I simply love that metallic color I have used this several times and this is a two weeks old design this gel is just uh, amazing I love 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 them but over to this um, builder gels we have light pink and it's really thick since it's a uh, since it's builder gel so as you can see on this brush it looks a little bit purplish but we will see when I try it on the tip this time and then we have the light beige I think this has a more pink in it a little bit more coverage to it so We'll see, and then we have tan. I think it's quite see through, not very opaque, and it's kind of a uh, what am I going to say? Almost a brownish or grayish color to it. So let's test it, test them out. I got a tile with this little flexible finger on and I'm going to use Madame Glam's base gel and just super nail primer and their snow wipe top, top gel and I'm going to use just some alcohol sanitizer so let's start And curing the base gel, uh -huh. over to open the light pink. Oh, this is going to be excited! Build the gel in a bottle. So let's see. I. Have <laughs> read the instructions, but I have not done that. I'm not even sure if they have any ex instructions on the site how to use this, how to put it on. But um, if they do, I will put a put it on the screen. feels absolutely <laughs> well, thick to work with but I am used to just shift the gel around not so much stroking or using the brush strokes so I just want it open the top there
I think I will kill that. So that was the first layer, and over to the second. Clean up the mess that I made. Oops, too much maybe. Should have used the tool, but it's quite self leveling. Let's cure this. <clears throat> it has a nice cover, coverage after two coats, but I feel this needs three coats. I'm going to cure that. So now this is, this is finished with the layers. I would say recommend three coats, but that is up to every person. You probably normally would have take off the tacky layer, buffed it a bit and then to put on the top coat. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to move on to the next color. over to the light beige this looks a bit more opaque than the light pink or the I'm not sure <laughs> sorry I'm not sure what it was called the other one This has absolutely a lot more beige in it, as you can see, than the other one. I'm brushing it down so you do not get that fat, fat tip. Trying at least. I find that just extra filing but we are all different and do I like to do the gels different ways so let's cure that over to the second layer I like to <laughs> build up with a line in the back and then wipe it down it's so easy to do everybody can do build the gels from now on <laughs> as long as you clean up after yourself with your cuticle <laughs> when you're up in the cuticles like I am second time, time around was a lot easier. Let's cure this again. This is the second coat and it's slightly see-through. It's not fully opaque. When I look at it it's more natural or more opaque than it seems in the camera. So you can get away with two coats on this one. But you can also put on a extra
can just drag a line up and down if you want to get this get this um, stress point higher Let's cure this. Is the finished result. This color is absolutely gorgeous, and it's it's um <laughs> it's a light beige with a hint of I in this light. It looks like a hint of coral coral in it. It's beautiful. But over to the last one and that is tan and I noticed when I looked at it earlier this one had a tendency to make a little bit more bubbles than the other ones. I'm not sure if it's just the bottle that has been stirred or... not sure. Let me know if anyone else has... and as you can see I'm making a mess up here. to push it up and then down as you can see there are some bubbles here and there trying to poke out the bubbles you can do that sometimes just poke a hole in them Should I use the tool to this do this but I like to use my thumb. <laughs> so let's cure this with you the second coat. I did this last time on the last nail. Maybe this is a great idea for me. then stroke it down. I think so. I think I'm starting to find my way. <laughs> oh, the battery died on me in the middle of the second coat, sorry. But as you can see there are still a couple of bubbles there, but and as I also said in the other color, uh, this is more opaque in real life than it is uh, on on screen. So it is a lot nicer on the nail than on this brush. <laughs> it has a tan color. It just, it just look like a muddy, more of a muddy. <laughs> muddy and uh, purple color to it when it was in the bottle but when it comes on the nail it's a beautiful tan almost see or it, it's it's not fully well it's kind of fully opaque but it's a beautiful if that makes any sense um, almost glassy see-through but still opaque uh, color. That was a contradiction in itself, but mm, <laughs> that is just how I feel. So 
there, I can keep Look this. at that color. These colors really pops <laughs> after the second or third layer, especially the third layer. The, pop, the colors really changes uh, from, especially from what I, what I um, think they are going to look like. So I'm going to clean this one also and I will be back after I have buffed them and I will put on some uh, top coat, Madame Glam's soak off top coat, and I will be back when the fin with the finished result, and we will compare the different and colors. Here we have them. This is the final result. <laughs> this was the light pink, or yeah, light pink. Sorry about the zoom. And this was the light beige, and this was the tan. And as you can see, yeah, it's pink, but it's also a little bit purple in it. I feel that it has some purple in it, but it has a beautiful shine. I love it. I I am so amazed by these colors. And this is the <laughs> I must check the light beige and as you can see it is a light beige with a hint of apricot I would say. It's quite light and they all have a you can see for yourself the things that I talked about. It's, it's, they are opaque, but they are at the same time a little bit see-through, like this one. This is the tan one. It's a gorgeous one. This is, of course, a lot too dark for me as a nail bed, but it's just gorgeous as a color in itself. So I am loving these gels and I have nothing to gain by saying that because I have bought these with my own money money <laughs> sorry sorry about my Norwegian English but I have tried them out and I love them I hopefully they will restock them really soon because as of now they are out and this is just before Christmas hopefully they will get it back really soon I'm not sure when this video will be out either so <laughs> they might have restocked them in when the video is out uh, you can uh, of course go into Madame Glam's pages and log in there and you will get a lot of great um, great discounts they always have a lot of great discounts going on or you can use my 30% coupon code Nails on Away down on the screen if you want to use that and um, thank you for watching this uh, review and reveal and um, I will see you soon, everybody. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.